Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, n squared minus n minus 6 over n squared minus 2n plus 12 over n is equal to n minus 6 over 2n. All right. Well, one thing I want to do is I want to have the same base when I add these together. So to do that, hopefully you can see it, if I multiply the second fraction by n over n, kind of fit it in here, n over n, that will give us a denominator of n squared, meaning that we can add them together. All right, so let's simplify what we can here. And now remember, this n here will get distributed to both parts. Let's put a little parenthesis around there. It makes it a little easier to see, okay? Hopefully you can see that it's an equal sign here. All right. So left-hand side here, or left over here, let's keep it the same, n squared minus n minus 6 over n squared. And the right-hand side, n times 2n is a 2n squared plus 12 times n is 12 n, all over n squared. And the right-hand side, keep the same, n minus 6 over 2 n. So now let's combine the left-hand side together in the same base, and let's remember, let's, let's see if we can get everything over. Watch this. Um, add, this be a negative, we're distributing that minus sign, and this is also a negative there. Okay? So now we have n squared down here, and let's combine what we can n squared minus 2n squared, that's just a minus n squared here. Minus n plus a negative 12m, that's a minus 13n, and the minus 6 is by itself, there's no like term over there, okay? And over here we have n minus 6 over 2n. So let's keep going. I'm going to take this denominator of n squared and bring it up here to the right. It's kind of like cross multiply, but just one of them. And you'll see why in a second. So we have minus n squared here, minus 13n minus 6 equals n squared times n minus 6 over 2n. Okay? Well, what that does is this n here can cancel with this n squared. Okay, and actually I should have multiplied this 2 up, or I can do it now so it's easier to see. Now I'm going to take this 2 and just multiply it to this side, kind of cross multiply now up there. It's kind of over 1 here. And I kind of separate a little bit. I just always kind of look ahead to see what I can cancel out. So let's put the 2 on the outside, or I'll multiply that 2 across, sorry. We have a minus, or 2 times minus n squared minus 2n squared minus. 2 times 13 is uh, 26, 26 n, and 2 times minus 6 is a minus 12. That's equal to, let's multiply this out, n times n is n squared, and n times a minus 6 is a minus 6 n. Okay, what I'm going to do is, so I'm kind of out of space down there, I'm going to kind of go up here. But I'm going to bring everything over to one side or the other. Now, I'm going to choose to bring everything over to the right because I prefer having positive coefficients for the n squared value. So bringing everything over, if I add a plus 2n squared here, plus 2n squared, add that together, and that's going to be, going to be equal to 0 at the end. That's a 3n squared. Then we add a 26n to both sides, and a minus n plus 26m is just a 20n, okay, and we add a 12 here, and we add 12, and we're left with a 12, and we have a 0 here left over, okay. Oh, so now we want to solve for, well, we want to uh, see what we can do to solve for n, okay? So let's go see what we can factor here, okay? So, I mean, 0 
equals, we have to have a 3n and then a regular n. Okay, and so we multiply this out. Okay, what two numbers when we multiply them together, right? Just the n's are going to equal 12, but when I add with the combination, all right, we have to have a uh, 20 with a 3 being multiplied by one of them there. Okay, so, well, 12, I'm thinking 6 and 2. Okay, 6 and a 2 here. So if I put a, let's say, a mm, plus 6. Well, plus 6 and 2, so 6 and 2 is 12, put all the multiples for 12. If I have a 6 here, so if I do plus 6, and this is a 2, plus 2, 2 times 6 would be that 12. Yeah, and 3 times 6 is 18, and 2 plus n is, uh, is 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. That will get us there, so we can factor this to be here, and it kind of helps make a little cheat sheet here, but it's all good. So now let's solve for n. We set both parentheses equal to 0. 3n plus 2 equals 0, and n plus 6 equals 0. Keep going. We solve minus 2, minus 2, and 3n equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3, and n equals a negative 2 thirds. Subtract a 6 to both sides, and n equals a minus 6. All right. They tell us now that we have to check for our extraneous solutions here, make sure I have, we're all good. All right, so what's the check here? I'm gonna using a calculator, I can tell. And so we're gonna plug each value into our original equation and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So let's do negative two thirds first. Negative two thirds squared minus a negative two thirds minus six over negative two thirds squared minus two times negative two thirds plus 12 over negative two thirds equals a negative two thirds, if you can fit, uh, we're getting close, negative two thirds here minus six over two times a negative two thirds, okay. So I'm going to try to simplify actually a whole bunch at once here, so um, bear with me with the calculator here, okay? So we have a negative two-thirds squared minus a negative two-thirds minus six, okay? And we're going to divide that by our denominator, which is negative two-thirds squared, and this whole side comes out to be right here. This whole thing comes out to just be, well, that's a negative 11. Minus this part here, uh, two times a negative two thirds plus 12 divided by a negative two thirds. And we have a negative 16. Okay, kind of cool, it comes out pretty evenly. So far, on integers, um, negative two thirds minus six divided by two times negative two thirds, and we should have a positive five here. Well, minus a negative, same thing as adding a positive, and negative 11 plus 16 is a five. So five equals five. Left and right hand side are equal. So negative two thirds is a solution. Let's check the six now. So the second one here, again, same process, but negative six, sorry, in for n, and see if the left and right hand side are equal. Negative six squared minus a negative six minus six over negative six squared minus two times negative six plus 12 over a negative six. Is that equal to so many sixes? Negative six minus six over two times a negative six here. All right, let's get this one first. Negative six squared minus a negative six minus six divided by a negative six squared. This becomes a good old one. Here, two times a negative six plus 12 divided by a negative six is zero equals, right hand side, let's go, 
negative 6 minus 6 divided by 2 times a negative 6 and we have positive 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. So my left and right hand side are equal both being 1, meaning our two answers work and it's n equals negative 2 thirds and negative 6. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com